Welcome back on this Thursday morning. It's 921. The Swarm is here. A new hands-on exhibit in Arlington letting you dive into an imaginative world where insects don't have just super abilities. They are superheroes. This well. is fascinating. <laughs> Bug Squad opens this weekend at River Legacy Center and Paige Ellenberger is checking it out this morning. She's got a sneak peek. Paige? Paige, you there? You there? Uh oh, there you are. Oh, there she is. Yes, I'm here. I'm just still hanging out here in the ant tunnels, but it is time to move on because there is so much to see here at the Nature Center. Connor is yes. joining me this morning. The naturalist supervisor, correct? Yes. Talk correct. to me a little bit about your job and what it is you do on a day day basis. Okay, well, the naturalist here, we do a lot. And so one of the best privileges that we have is we get to take care of over 100 animals that we house here at the Nature Center, make sure that they're living their best lives and uh, use them for the kids as educational animals and ambassadors yeah. to teach them about nature. And you are full of information. We are kind of stationed here near Phoebe. Phoebe is a firefly and yes. you know so much information about fireflies. Talk to yeah. me a little bit about the anatomy of what goes into this specific insect and Absolutely. why it's so cool to you. I love these fireflies because I have a chemistry and physics background okay. and so these fireflies they actually use chemistry to generate their light. And so what they do is they have a special enzyme called luciferase. And whenever they take in oxygen into their body, they can supply that to another compound called luciferin. And then whenever that reacts with the luciferase, it will give off light because it generates energy. And so the light, the energy for the light, takes an electron and takes it from a ground state to an excited state. Okay. Whenever it goes back from that excited state back to the ground state, it creates a photon, and that photon is what we see as light. Amazing. Connor, I hate to put you on the spot here. A lot of kids are going to be coming in and out of yeah. this exhibit. How would you explain what you just explained to us to yeah. a five-year-old? <laughs> okay. Well, if we were to use the wall over there, we okay, have these special the flashlights. Let's move yeah. the wall. <laughs> this probably would make a little bit more sense to right. me, too. Honestly. Yeah, okay. so now that we're at the wall, we have this phosphorescent wall to simulate what the uh, uh, fireflies do. And so instead of doing a chemical reaction, we're going to use a UV light to give this wall energy. And whenever we give it energy, you can see it excites those electrons like I was talking about. And as they go back to their ground state, they're giving off photons for us to see. Yeah, it's so incredible, and I'm not sure if you can really see it just as well as you may uh, were able to because of our light, but when this is a little bit more dim, these are going to be so bright, and it really shows what fireflies can do. Connor, people all the time, I hear it so often, I've never seen a firefly. How come I don't right. see them in my own backyard? You gave yes. me a, a good tip a little bit earlier. Why yes, so you want, if you really want to see these fireflies, the best time to go out is right during the twilight period, right as the sun goes over the, or, yeah, goes over the horizon for you. So that way there's still a little bit of light in the air, but it's starting to get nice and dark. If it's pitch black outside, if the sun's already gone, you're not going to see them. You're too late. So make sure you hit that twilight period and that, for whatever reason, that's whenever they really like to start doing their show. Oh, so fun, and I love capturing them. Okay, there is so much to see at this exhibit as well. I mean, from dragonflies to grasshoppers, of course, we heard about the ants a little bit earlier. Right. So much education can be found here in oh, this yeah. specific exhibit. What would you want to tell families that may be bringing their children here to learn and have fun at the same time? Right, this is a great way if maybe you're apprehensive about bugs and all the things flying around <laughs> your house and in your backyard or whenever you go camping, you get a little kind of nervous about all those things flying around you. This is a great place to come and kind of dispel some of the myths that you might have made in your own head. And so you'll get to come here, see some bugs that are, you'll get to see some live bugs. We'll bring some of our okay. friends out for people to see if they want to. But for the most part, we have these animatronics and everything and these fun exhibits for you to mess with and play with and kind of learn what these bugs do. And that the fact that they're not just out there to try to attack you, yeah. they're out there doing their own thing, living their life in yeah. nature. and. Just having a good time. I love it, Connor. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us on Good Day Today. Okay, ticketing information all over on our website, fox4news.com. This officially opens to the public on Saturday. It's closed on Sundays, but it runs from 9 to 5. Tickets just $10 for adults, 7 for kids. So if your kid is even a little bit curious about oh, yeah. insects, or if you are too, this is a really great opportunity. I'm going to throw it back to you guys and see if I can do a little SIG out here on the luminous oh, oh, Look at you. Look at you. Fox oh, more. Oh, 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 see it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. Bugs sure like you, Paige. Thanks. <laughs> well, um,